Hello everyone and welcome to another math tutorial. This video is going to be the first in a series of videos that will explore area and volume as we eventually make it into three-dimensional solids. We're going to begin this series of videos however with the discussion of circumference and arc length of circles. We begin this video by discussing something that everybody should have some familiarity with. Um, in your upbringing in math uh, before you've gotten to this point in geometry. And that is with circumference. Uh, circumference is just a, the term we use to describe the perimeter of a circle, if you will, if you're familiar with perimeter. Uh, circumference is just simply the distance around the outside of the circle, okay? And there's a couple different formulas that we can use for that. Uh, you can take pi times the diameter, or you can take 2 times pi times the radius. Um, the reason why we can use both of these is because we know that two radii length are equivalent to one diameter. So depending on if you're given diameter, you can use this. If you're given radius, you can use this and then not need to go back and forth between the two measurements. Let's do a couple example problems uh, that utilize uh, circumference formula for a circle. First example problem asks us to find the circumference of a circle with a diameter of five inches. Uh, because we have been given diameter, I am going to use circumference equals pi times diameter as my formula. So the circumference of this circle is going to be pi times five. So that's my diameter, uh, which this would more commonly be written than as just simply five pi. Uh, we'll put units on our problem or on our answer. So this is five pi inches. If you wanted an exact answer, or sometimes you're gonna have uh, directions that say in terms of pi. This is what it means. Just leave your answer with pi in it. That's your answer in terms of pi or exact. If you want an approximate answer, then we're just gonna need to go to the calculator and type five times pi. Uh, you can use 3.14 for your approximation or you can just use the pi button on the calculator. Most uh, probably not even most. All calculators are going to have a pi button that you can use. And I'm going to use maybe just the nearest hundredth now. It's going to be 15.71 units are still inches. Okay, so depending on, on what kind of answer you want, exact or approximate, uh, will dictate how you finish that problem or answer that problem. Second example problem I have asks us to find the radius of a circle with a circumference of 17 feet. Okay, so we are looking for radius, and because we are looking for radius, I'm going to use the circumference equals 2 times pi times radius formula, uh, as opposed to the one we saw in the last example problem. Now, my circumference is 17 feet, so we're going to put 17 in for the circumference C. That equals 2 times pi times the radius. We are trying to solve for the radius, which means we need to get r by itself. We'll divide both sides by 2 pi. And so the radius r is equal to 17 divided by 2 pi. Uh, the units in the problem are feet, so we have feet there. And again, like the last problem we saw, if you are wanting an exact answer, then we have it. The exact answer is 17 divided by 2 pi feet. Uh, if you want an approximate answer for the radius, then we'll need to go to the calculator and type that in. So 17 divided by quantity 2 pi is going to give us an approximate radius of 2.71 feet. Okay, so again, just make sure you read your directions, whatever type of problem you're doing or, 
where you're working, whether it just be an online assessment, uh, a test, a quiz, just a homework assignment. If it says approximate, round, you're wanting to do this. If it wants exact, or again, in terms of pi, that's also an exact answer that you're after. All right, next we're gonna talk about arc length. Uh, we have previously seen and discussed arcs. We've talked about measure of arcs, uh, and, and the measure of an arc is equivalent to the measure of the angle that intercepts, uh, the central angle that intercepts that arc. When we talk about arc length, this is much more related to circumference, what we just did. An arc length is a portion of the circumference. So if I wanna know the length of arc AB, I wanna know physically how long is that. If I were to take that arc and just kinda of lay it out flat along a ruler, I wanna know how long is that arc. So this is a different value than the, the measure of the arc that we were doing before. And the way that I am going to show you to solve these problems is to use a proportion. Okay, the way we're gonna set up the proportions is this. I'm gonna uh, do two ratios equal to each other. I'm gonna do, set them up like this. I'm gonna do part divided by whole equals part divided by whole, okay? And, and this is how, this is, this is the, the two ratios I'm gonna use. Um, for the first one, I am going to do the length of arc AB, okay? So that is uh, part of the circle. Uh, I wanna divide that then by the whole circle. Well, the entire circle is the circumference. Uh, the circumference, um, I'm just gonna rewrite circumference as two pi r. Uh, that's the formula for circumference if given the radius. So again, I've got the part of the circle, which is the arc divided by the whole circle circumference. I'm gonna equal that to and this ratio, same thing, I want part of the circle divided by the whole circle. And this one is going to be the measure of arc AB, which is, that's degrees, that's how many degrees the central angle is, divided by all of the degrees of a circle, which is 360 degrees. So, so this is gonna make up kind of the form of my problem solving going forward. Uh, if you want like a formula per se, this is kind of the, the formula that I'm, that I'm going for. All right, let's see this play out in, in a few different types of problems, depending on what we're looking for, what we're given. Let's see how we can use this. Okay, first example, I'm trying to find the arc length of arc PQ. So I'm trying to find this length right here. So let's set up my proportion. I'm gonna do the length of PQ divided by circumference. And the circumference in this particular problem, notice that the nine is the length of the diameter. It's all the way across here. So I'm gonna do pi times diameter. And then on this ratio, I want the measure of arc PQ divided by 360. Okay, let's plug in everything that we know. We have, obviously we don't know the length of the arc, if we did, the problem would be over, divided by pi times diameter, which is nine, equals the measure of the arc. The measure of the arc is equivalent to the same as the central angle, so 75 degrees divided by 360 degrees. All right, since we have set this up as a proportion, I'm gonna go ahead and do cross products to, to solve this. So I'm gonna multiply along these diagonals so we have 360 times, let's just use parentheses here, the length of PQ equals, and then we're gonna have pi times nine times 75. To solve this for the length of PQ, we're gonna divide both sides by 360 
And so the length of PQ is equal to, now I'm gonna go ahead and just go right to the calculator uh, and, and get a decimal for this. Uh, you can leave your answer in terms of pi and, and not compute pi. Uh, well, let's just go ahead and type this all in. So I wanna do pi times nine times 75, and then that answer divided by 360. And so I'm gonna do just two decimal places. I get 5.89. This is a length, so the length in this problem is yards. So that's the length or the units of our answer. All right, the next example problem is a little bit different. We're gonna kind of set up the same way with our proportion, but what we're looking for is a different value in that proportion. Here we're gonna look for the circumference of circle N. So let's look at kind of what we have. I have this measurement here, this 61.26 meters. It's attached to the outside of the circle. It's not the circumference or else we'd be done with the problem. So I think I can safely infer that that length right there is this arc, major arc between M and L. And I feel safe assuming that because I also have this 270 degree angle, which is the angle that intercepts that arc. All right, so let's look to fill in this proportion. We're gonna do a ratio of lengths, arc length and circumference, and then a ratio of degrees, of, of degree measurements. So here, I, I know the arc length already. That's 61.26. I don't know the circumference. That's what I'm looking for. In this particular case, I'm just gonna put C for circumference. I'm not gonna put two pi r or pi times diameter because I don't want one of those smaller units of measure. I actually just want the circumference there. And on this side, I want the measurement of the arc and the measurement of the entire circle. So the arc was traced out by that 270 degree angle and the entire circle is 360. Okay, we are now ready to do our cross product. So we're gonna multiply along these lines. So we have 200 and 70 times C equals 360 times 61.26. And divide both sides by 270. So the circumference is going to be whatever that is in the calculator. So I'm gonna type in 360 times 61.26 and divide that by 270. Circumference is 81.68 units R meters. All right, our next example problem is asking us to try and find the radius of this circle. Uh, so we're looking for maybe this length right here. When I'm looking at this, I notice that this 10.5 feet, that is the length of an arc, and the 150 degrees is the measurement of the angle that intercepts that arc. Uh, let's see how we can place all this into our proportion. So yeah, one of these ratios is going to be links. The other one is going to be uh, degree measurements. And I always put the part on top and the whole on bottom. The part of the length of the circle is the arc, which is 10.5 feet. Uh, the whole thing is the circumference. Now I'm looking for the radius. So I should use a circumference formula here that has radius in it so that I introduce that variable into the problem. So I'm going to use two pi times radius for that denominator. I'm gonna equal over here part of the circle in degrees, which is the 150 degrees divided by the whole circle, which is 360 degrees. All right, once we get that set up, we're just gonna cross multiply and solve for our, our variable. So I've got uh, two pi times r times 150 equals 10.5 times 360. I need to divide 
by 2 and pi and 150 so that I cancel all that out and leave radius by itself. And so we get the radius equals. Uh, definitely try and type this in on your own. Make sure you're getting the order of operations correct on the calculator. So take a moment and type this in. See if you get the same answer that I get. I multiply the top together and I'm going to divide by this entire quantity. So I am going to use parentheses in my calculator. And I get the radius to be to the nearest hundredth 4.01 looks like the units of the problem are feet. All right, our final example problem, it looks like we're being asked for the measurement of an arc. Let's find where that is on the circle. We're asked to find the measurement of RS. Uh, well, the measurement of arc RS would be the same as this angle measurement right here. So that's what we're after. Uh, we do have the length of the arc RS. Right here is 44. We also have, you know, pointing to this line right here, we have a radius value as well. So that's all of our given information. Can we use this to find the measurement of this arc? Uh, I'm going to start with the, uh, in my proportion, again, my ratios, I'm going to do uh, links over here. I'm going to do measurements of arcs and, and circles degrees on this side. So the arc length itself is 44. Uh, on bottom, I need the circumference. I don't have the circumference, but I have the radius. So I'm gonna use my circumference formula that uses radius. And that is two pi times the radius, which is 15.28. And that is going to equal over here, the measure of the arc, which is the part of the circle. That's what I'm trying to find divided by the entire circle, which is 360. Okay, from here, we are ready to do our cross product. So I am going to have two pi times 15.28 times the measure of arc RS equal to 44 times 360. Uh, you can multiply these things out if you want, kind of in intermediate steps. I like to just carry it all and do one computation at the very end. I'm going to divide by all of this, which is going to leave the measure of arc RS by itself. I'm going to put it all over here. And so the measure of arc RS, I'm ready to go to the calculator now. I'm going to do 44 times 360, I'm going to divide by the quantity 2 pi times 15.28. If I do that, I get the measure of this arc to be 164.99 degrees. Okay, that concludes this first video in this brand new unit. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment sections below or reach out to me. If you enjoyed this video or found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.